Some young women in Tarrant County are making history this school year. Fort Worth ISD started its first ever girls flag football league. They're now one week into the season and will compete through mid-May. Fox 4's Dion Anglin joining us from Fort Worth with more on how it's going. Dion. Hey there, Heather. Well, um, you said it, and now it'll take a little getting used to, but when you talk about scoring touchdowns with Fort Worth ISD Athletics, you'll have to clarify, boys or girls. Living up to the hype. It's physical. It is physical. It is physical. They get after it. Coaches, players, even past naysayers are rallying around Fort Worth ISD girls flag football. I was absolutely amazed at how much effort they put in, um, their dedication, and they're just the, the fact that you can tell them to do something and they do it on a dime. Our visit to Pascal High School. We rallied the girls when we heard that it was time to play flag football. Really? I got a chance to meet senior Josephine Steed. Yeah, in fourth grade on the field at recess, and I wanted to play football with the boys, and they said, I'm sorry. It's a boy's sport. You can't play. Well, it's a new day. Steed is happy to have the first official game in the books. Now that the first week is over, I think we can focus on honing in on our specific skills. She cautions, don't underestimate the physicality. There's still a lot of blocking. There's a lot of moving your body around other people, protecting your players. And when you're going for that flag, you are going for that flag. Nothing can stop you. If you don't commit, you're going to swing and a miss. The district, with backing from the Dallas Cowboys and Nike, hopes the sport will be adopted statewide as a recognized Title IX activity. Assistant coach Alexis White is a Pascal High alum. She's excited to be a part of history. Everybody comes together from all different sports, whether they played soccer, or basketball, if they didn't play anything at all, and they all come together as one team and really unify and have a great time. The girls, I don't think they quite understand yet, historically, what this means uh, for starting the program in Texas. Josephine Steed says she understands it, including her playmaking power. I think linebacker will be my sweet spot, but you know, we shall see. Well, Pascal's next game day is Saturday and get this because they have so many uh, that are interested in the sport. They have two teams. Their purple team will play Trimble Tech. Their white team plays YWLA and um, the, the season will culminate with the champ at AT&T Stadium in May.